from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV at Tommy Max, of course, at my bar and brought to our good friends at the Heritage Capital Group. We're talking about Jayville, okay? We're talking about some capital, we're talking about some closets, and my friend uh, Mark, or Patrick Emmert, is here from the Heritage Capital Group. Mark Hutto is here, though, from Closets by Design. Hi, Mark, how are you, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. How you been? Doing well, doing well. You guys still just crushing the market? What's happening? It's, it's been What's a busy time. Been yeah. a busy time. How'd Slowing you start down in that, Mark? Were you, were you always in that uh, in No, that I've space, always been or? in private businesses and manufacturing, but uh, okay. my wife and I got in it about five years ago. Okay. So it's been What's been the best part? Year. About it, uh, really making a difference in people's homes, and, and you yeah. get a lot of five-star reviews and yeah. happy customers. That's the key, isn't it? Yeah. Keeping them happy and your employees, right? How, how big is your company? We have a, almost 100 people now. Oh wow! No yeah. Kidding. All right. That's uh, that's some good growth, my man. We actually just built a house, and they did ours, and it's just spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Just making sure it's right every single time, right? We try. Details yeah. are everything. No doubt about it, Mark. Great to have you on the show. Thanks. Michael Corgan is here. Hey, hey Tom. Tom. Good to see you. Visit Jacksonville. What's happening, brother? Man, tourism is happening, and it is a great, yeah. great, great times in Jacksonville. When you okay. compare us to the rest of the state, we're yeah. still doing fantastic. When you hear about what Jacksonville could potentially be with the new stadium and everything built around that makes it more of a destination city, I would imagine. Oh, I, I mean, you feel the 100%, same? 100 percent. I mean, it's already started. Yeah. Uh, Tom, the, the uh, Miller Electric Performance Center opening it up, yeah. opened up the stadium for a lot more uh, st uh, tourism activities to happen. A lot more groups can come in and use those facilities, yep. even in the existing stadium. Yep. And then we talk about building a new stadium and all the amenities are going to go around that stadium. It's just tailor made to, to help agree. tourism continue to oh, take the off. River, I mean, there's so much untapped just potential right there. And it looks yeah. like it's coming our way. And, and, you know, we've all been waiting a long time for that potential. We, we realized yep. uh, the wait is over. It's starting to happen. You know, it's funny, like, it's almost like the sub suburbs, as we call them, like beaches, rivers, wherever, I don't care, Fleming on, are phenomenal. City's great, but it's going to be even greater, oh. which is so exciting. Yeah, it, and, and it's been said a lot. You're not yeah. going to recognize this place in 10 years. It's really, you're not going to recognize downtown in five or six years. No, you're right. You're right. Uh, do you need a spokesperson? Because I love Jacksonville. You know? Well, you're a pretty good <laughs> spokesperson. We may have to talk after the let's show. Talk. Yeah, let's talk. <laughs> you know, I could sell Jacksonville all, all day right, long. We're, we're, that's a I good love conversation. it. From Chicago. You get him a Yankee. Well, we, my mother-in-law calls me a Yankee. If you just bring all your friends from Chicago down, that would help. <laughs> there you go. Get them down. You know, some are moving down, believe it or not. Well, they just need to visit. I don't care. Yeah. Move all they want. They that's just need right. to visit. Just that's what, visit. Focus on the visit time. I like that. There's a lot to do here and a lot to offer. That's for sure. <laughs> Great to have you on the show. Good to Mike. be here. Yeah, absolutely. Faith Link is here from Dixon. Dixon Link Capital. How are you, Faith? Great. Good Tom, to see you, you again. You as well. How's business? How's everything? It's wonderful. As you know, commercial real estate is a really interesting market this year. Yep. Um, but we're staying busy with some really great projects here in Northeast Florida. Uh, a lot of dirt moving around. A lot of yep. Uh, construction going on and cool. we love the role that we play in getting to make sure that those attractions uh, are able to be built and yeah. uh, can just grow the economy here even more. Yeah, you, you've been with uh, the Capital Group for how long now? Yep, so we launched actually three years ago okay. this month. Yeah, so. we met about two years ago, didn't we? We did, We were working yes. on a project together, mm -hmm. that's right. That's right, so how do you keep the pipeline thick? Curious as to far as deals you want to work on and go out there and get them. Well, our, obviously one of our, our favorite referral sources is existing repeat clients of course. Um, who share their experience of yep. working with us and being able to deliver for them is um, always wonderful. We have wonderful strategic partners in the finance space, in you know tax and legal, yep. uh, other business consultants um, know that we can come in and help round out that rock star team around the yeah, client. That's great. Great to have you back on great the show. Patrick, here. how are you, my man? Good to see you Good again. Good to see you again Likewise. from Heritage Capital, of course. When you think of Jacksonville and the growth, I mean, what what comes to your mind? You know, in the business that you guys are just more opportunity. It's a great. It's a great state. It's a great town to uh, to build to bring your company to. Uh, you know, I always used to say prior to Heritage Capital, yep. when we recruit people, is you know, I got palm trees and no taxes, and right. uh, you know, you tell me <laughs> where else you want to be. You're right. Um, You're right. But it's a you know, the infrastructure is terrific. You've got waterways. You've got Great logistics centers here. Oh, You've yeah. got fab, you know, fantastic weather. Uh, the quality of life here is second to none. Phenomenal. It is. Um, it's, I mean, it's it's the easiest. I, I told my father when I moved here, I'm not ever leaving, and it's the easiest yeah. place I can see to to sell. So. Yeah. yeah, and business friendly. It's very business friendly. And, and I was going to say the 
people are great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's people great in every city, don't get me wrong, but the community feel in this town is what's really yeah. special to me. Mm -hmm. What could make Jacksonville better? What do you think, Marco? We need to, first? we gotta, gotta get downtown um, going, but it looks like we're on the right kick. We gotta sit out the marina for a few years and can't take your boat down there anymore, but Four Seasons coming in, so yeah. that'll well, that'll make things better. I think yeah. that everything else is tracking the right direction. Yeah, are they moving the, uh, um, well, the ship's already moved down. Is yeah. the aquarium going down there? Is that no, happen? no aquarium don't... planned no. at this point. Nothing um, yet. But okay. the, the uh, Mosh is planning on moving to the Southern River right, right now. Your intuition. Yep. Um, yep. That's that's moving further and further along. That'll cool. be a great addition. So if you take the the Four Seasons and Mosh and then the Orlick and then really hit core downtown. Yep. And, and really, it's it's the thing they're really doing right is they're putting a lot of park and public access throughout mm -hmm. the riverfront downtown. Yeah. So, so many times in downtowns they build it and then they lock everybody out of it. Right. Jacksonville's right. doing just the opposite. We're right. building the infrastructure to, to invite the public to the waterfront and then building off the waterfront with a lot of different amenities. Okay. And that's gonna be a key. And, and Mark's right, you know, we're gonna have to suffer through one more period of, of, of transition and, and everything else. And, right. and the boaters are most affected right now, but yeah. when you finish the Four Seasons and when you start putting in the park spaces and put more accesses and a lot of people get on the beautiful river that we have. I mean, yeah. it's an incredible asset that um, we've long wanted to maximize and we just haven't done it. Mm -hmm. and, and it's, you know, we've been asking people to come here and look at Jacksonville. That's changing where people are coming to ask coming. about Jacksonville Absolutely. instead. So. And our Jags are five and two, Mike. And that doesn't hurt. Right. Yeah, does How about that? Huh? How would you make Jacksonville better real quick if you could? Gosh, well, given it's my hometown, um, mm -hmm. you know, seeing the progression just over the last five years has been really incredible. Yep. Um, I'm in San Marco, too, so finally got that Great Publix, time. everybody. Um, <laughs> just my kind of demographic age group, you know, more and more events uh, around like sip and stroll, like the wind down in the park, yeah. just more of that. With downtown events. Yes, yeah. exactly. Just that momentum that is cool. clearly building here. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, the just art more walks things. great. I mean, they oh, do plenty of events, walk. but there's a lot of cool events, but Absolutely. having more of those. And just ways to connect the different parts of the city, maybe not just by car, maybe there's other means of transportation. Yeah, sure, sure. You know, we'll see what that, how that goes. That's but. right. What do you think? You, you get the last word. Well, I, I think that, you know, I say exactly what they are, but um, I agree with uh, expanding downtown, uh, yep. taking it from, you know, the, the Brooklyn all the way to the stadium, that whole waterfront. You know, yep. one thing that I noticed when I, when I first got here and it was very, uh, you know, within the last 10 years is there's really no place to take a boat, park it and go and eat. Which seems You're just right. Which yeah. seems yeah. you know. We're working on that. Unfortunately, yeah. well, that's fantastic we're, to hear because on it. Just, you know that would make such a great addition, I think, too. Absolutely. Uh, but I think they are. They're moving. The, they're working on that whole waterfront area, and that's just going to yeah. make it a real, real game changer. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's a great time to be in Jackson. It is. Yeah. There's a lot of growth. People are great. Teams doing well. Well, and Tom, you talk about you talk about growth and, and, and development downtown. Don't don't leave out the, the Gateway Jacks development that just announced where the former First Baptist Church property That's was. Right. That's going to put a density of housing and retail yeah. off the waterfront, and then the water's going to attract one. That's going to attract the other, and we'll fill in the middle. We'll so, come together. So it's the first time we've really had a, a, a approach from both directions, not just one direction. So cool. Cool. Yeah. Great to have you all on the show, Thank man. You. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks, Appreciate man. that. All right, that's going to do it for us this time around. Make sure you check out their profiles and this conversation and many others. Just go to IWantToBuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe out there and be cool, man. And we'll see you right here on The Horses Month. Cheers. The team at Heritage Capital Group is special because it's a collection of people across the spectrum. We have people who have been in the shoes of owners that are looking to buy and sell and professionals that have executed transactions helping buy and sell companies for decades. I think when you talk to us, see what our experience is, see what our skills are, see the reach that we have, you'll be very happy with the recommendation.